Hello everyone, and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to update your BT scanner in Backtrack 5 R3. The reason we need to update it is because the BT scanner's brute force is actually broken. As you can see here, let me just start it up and hit the B button to start the brute force scan. As you can see, it just crashed. So to fix that, we need to actually uninstall the the old BT scanner by using that command to make room to actually install the newer version to where we can actually fix it. When this prompt comes up, you hit the Y button to continue. Let's actually Y and enter to continue. Once this is complete, we will have to create a directory to store the file in. And there it's finally complete, so let's just do a clear, let's do a, a make dir we're going to create it in the slash user slash local slash src for source and then bt scanner now let's just change them to uh, this directory now what we need to do is we need to go and download the file from this website right here. Uh, there will be a link in the description below. So we need to click on that link that is provided and then we need to save the uh, tar file in the folder we just created. And as you can see it's already in the proper location so we just select save. As you can see it's downloaded. Let's close that and minimize. So now if we do a listing we will see that there is the file. Now we need to unzip the file by using the tar command with the zx vf options and then specify the file name. Quick hint, you can use the tab button for it to automatically fill out the file name. Once it is completed you will see it created a BT scanner folder. It is highlighted in blue. So now we need to change into the new directory. Do a listing and we can see there's quite a few files in there. Now first we need to run the make clean command to prep everything for the dot slash configure figure script. Once this script is complete, we're going to have to run the make command to recompile any files. And then finally, we can run the make install command, which will actually install it. Now once this is complete, we have successfully installed the newer fixed version of BT Scanner. So just to show you, I'm going to open another terminal window and run BT Scanner again. Now I can hit the B button for Brute Force Scan and you will see it actually comes up with the uh, prompt for a start address. Once you have that, just specify your MAC address range and you will be good to go. Thank you for watching this video. For more tutorials and information, please go to dot slash backtrack dot com.